So I'm going to be showing you how to catch lots of mythic fish in fishing simulator. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Beef Plays channel. And today guys, we're going to be doing a video on the best way of catching mythic fish. Do bear in mind, if you're a lower level, this will affect you and you might not be able to get as many mythic fish as shown in the video. But guys, to start off the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe and leave a comment down below if you did enjoy this video. And if it did help you, make sure you do drop a like. So let's head off into Finn Supply Shop. So Fin Supply Shop is an area where you can obviously upgrade your rarity chance on your rod, upgrade your rod, get backpacks, blah de blah de blah. But guys, with the fishing rod, you want to focus on your fishing rod first. This is the priority. Do not spend anything on your gems, save them and just use your rarity chance, okay? Uh, this is all you need. Before you get anything, get your rarity chance up, okay? So it is quite expensive if you, you know, want to get your gems up quick on your rarity chance. But guys, this is primary here. This is what you need to do. So after you have this max, then you can focus on boats, but we'll get to that in a minute. So with special items, so what you do, you don't need it, but it will help you find the peak locations within the waters if you're a lower level. So what you will need is the Fishmaster 2.0. So it costs 1,500 unfortunately, but obviously there's a, an in-game way of actually getting gems now. So you can use that way to be able to get uh, your fish so pretty much what this does is it shows you the locations on the area but at level 40 you don't really need it unless if you want to be getting mythic fish every every time so what you want to do you want to head to um, obviously you can go into the water you can do absolutely anything but let's head into here so I am going to be getting uh, the rarity boat for this so I have a max rarity boat uh, I am planning to but I'm trying to save up my gems for the next update so what I'm going to do, I'm going to equip this boat. Again, you want to upgrade your rarity chance on that. So what you want to do, uh, you want to head out and spawn your boat. So when you spawn your boat, you want to actually head over to here. Thank you so much, Sunny, for buying the Beef Plays merch, limited edition, 3K subscriber thingy, magic. Thank you so much for buying it. Guys, this is a limited shirt, so make sure if you guys do want to get that limited shirt. So what we're going to do, we are going to do some fishing. So what we're going to do, we are going to get, so see, we got legendary, but obviously we're going for mythics. Uh, so at night, the sunfish does you know, lack in spawn when you do. And obviously I haven't got my rod maxed out, so do bear that in mind. But I'm going to be heading to this location here. And I'll be showing you why I'm going here in a second. So obviously there's different areas where you can actually get mythic fish. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to come up to this location right here. So you'll see what I mean in a second. But when you've unlocked level 40 area, you can do it for any kind of area with mythic fish. But in this area, I am actually going to be doing this. So what we're going to do, we are going to just put this on. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to fish like this. So we're going to fish like this for a bit. So pretty much, uh, it, you'll find it struggle to actually, you know, get over there. And obviously, depending on your rarity again, depending on how quick that you get it. But see, we got a mythic straight off the bat. So, uh, so pretty much, this boat gives us extended rarity and our rarity as well. So in in general, it's about let's say. 75% at the minute the rod from the original amount obviously I'm not going to get it every time uh, but this is the best way of doing it so you want to sit on your boat a rarity boat and you want to fish in this location so some of you may agree and disagree on this and it kind of depends kind of depend really if you've upgraded if you haven't definitely the rods as well I'll go over the rods so um, you mostly get around legendaries and you know mythics in this area for doing this so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you the rods so the lava rod obviously allows you to fish on lava the lightsaber rod 15% more reeling speed uh, the pencil more hook speed the bone rod 5% more strength the tulip rod 7% more reeling speed and 10% more rarity chance 
but guys, we're going to focus on the legendary and the mythic here. So 50% more rarity chance. This is, if you're going to get anything, get this one as well. Uh, obviously, the magic rod is the is the the go-to rod. If But if you don't have that, just stick with the legendary until you can get that rarity increase rod. So it goes with this one as well. 2% more rarity increase if you're a lower level. But just try getting those, you know, real speeds and the... Uh, rarity chance and all of that because it will help you a lot but if you guys fish from your boat you'll find it a lot more easier but again this might lack the amount of mythic fish that you do get uh, but obviously we got a common there so it's not really proven my point of getting mythics a lot and more frequent but if you upgrade your rod, if you do that, then it will be fine. So obviously I'm probably not in a hot spot. And again, it's it's one of those kind of videos. It does work and it doesn't. So again, if you're a lower level or if you don't have the kind of stuff needed, you'll find it a lot more difficult to actually be getting those mythic fish. So obviously I don't have the track thingy, but as soon as I change location, I'm starting to get mythics again. But again, I think the game changed it so it's not every time now. They kind of like lowered it. Even if you spend so many gems on upgrading your rod to max. But um, at the end of the day, if you just keep on going underneath the water continuously, you will be able to get there. So as you can see, we got one here. Obviously, it's not frequent enough as, as I would kind of like it. But if you think about it, this is definitely one of the best ways. So I got two in a row right now. So that's pretty good. Obviously legendary as well. You want to grab that because it's good XP and good money at, at the exact same thing. But depending if you have the hotspot tracker, you're going to struggle with this. But again, you can do this anyway. You can get sunfish. You can, you can do anything with this. But you have to have one of those kind of tracker things. So what did I just get? Did I get any... So we just got a red tiger fish. That's cool. So we just got a red tiger fish. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But again, if you just keep doing this, you will get there. So what we have to do is throw your rod in the water. Look under the water. Again, if you have the tracker thing, you'll find it a lot easier. Obviously, I don't get it frequent enough. Some people may get it more often. Some people people may even max their sats out and barely get anything. It's just, uh, you know, the time and place of day as well. So sometimes you have really, really bad luck. Sometimes you have really, really good luck. But if you're not thinking about getting the tiger fish, you're probably going to get it a lot more than you think. But again, this is... I would say the best way currently because there's not really a best way of getting it It's more like the tactics that you can do so upgrading your rod to max getting the Creature tracker all of those kind of stuff that could just make your gameplay a lot more better and a lot more so, so you can pretty much actually play the game so as you can see you got two times of the amount there so that was really really good so definitely worth getting two times money and xp if you are planning to get that again i'm trying to get my levels up all the way up to level 200 by the end of, wait in two weeks time so that would be pretty cool but i wonder if we can get some more tiger okay so we got two more so what one's this so we just got two Oh my god, I'm having such good luck. We just got two large blue fish as well. That is actually crazy. Okay, it's not really the one I'm looking for exactly. But at the end of the day, we're still getting those... We're still ticking those boxes. So we've got... We got red, blue and green now. So that is definitely really, really cool. So obviously the green is the best one there so far. But I wonder if we can get yellow in this video. That would be pretty cool if we did get yellow. I'm not expecting that we will. But I mean, if you upgrade your rarity rod, it still works with neons as well. So if you're upgrading that rod, you are technically getting a step closer to getting neons. Uh, obviously, it seems like lower levels tend to actually get more neons than higher levels. I see that a lot. But at the end of the day, there's not really much we can do but upgrade our rod do get up rods max all of that kind of fun stuff so we can actually play the game and get more mythics in a row and also it helps for grinding as well if you get it more frequently obviously i'm going to pick the legendaries up as well maybe while i go along because i'm still getting a thousand xp with it so it's definitely good to pick up anyway that's two thousand xp in like under like 
two seconds maybe three seconds so that is really really good uh, i am gonna miss that one though because i'm trying to aim it towards mythic fish so let's see if we can get one more mythic fish in this area and what we'll do we'll move on to another area so is there is there gonna be a mythic fish that's gonna just pop out or am i just having a really really bad luck i'm having some really really bad luck at the minute i don't know what it is okay whenever i record i'm not getting the things i want okay but i mean it's been really successful because we've got three mythics in but no, three neon mythic fish in seconds okay it's probably the, one of the easier ones to do but at the end of the day, we're still getting the Neon Mythic Fish. So that is really, really good. You could take the method if you want. But I'm trying to show you guys the ideas on how to actually do it. It's up to you guys if you enjoy it and all of that and actually, you know, do it. Uh, maybe you're already doing it. But these are the best methods so far or currently known by the community to be able to actually get mythic fish so do bear that in mind obviously you can get little perks and stuff like that but you need to focus on upgrading your rod to max rarity so you're able to do it so that involves obviously maxing your rod getting the best rod it does take a long long process but obviously i don't have the the tracker thingy to actually find the hotspot locations so obviously in these kind of locations i'm not going to find mythic fish as often so if you're going to get anything or take anything away from this video make sure that you do get that creature tracker thing not the creature tracker but the fish master i think it's called where pretty much you can get fish really really good uh, and really really quick as well but i'm having really really bad luck with mythic fish while i record a mythic fish video if you look in any other videos i have the best luck well actually no not really i have like the opposite of the best luck but at the end of the day if you guys you know follow the guide and all of that then you'll see what i mean but what we know in my luck but we might as well see if we look see straight off the bat that is really really good obviously i think what they've done is the higher area the more difficult it is to get but i mean at the minute we had a pretty good luck with a mythic straight off the bat but obviously you're going to find them more often like so just found another one they have the coolest colors though they have the coolest colors in the game uh they just look absolutely awesome uh, so let's see what varieties we've got for it. So we've actually got uh, We got one red one But I'm a huge red fish. So oh, I think I've just missed one. I just missed one. That is not good Okay, perfect. So it is a lot more common in different areas Obviously do bear that in mind that some areas are more common than the others Some people might find it difficult in one area and it just be absolutely awesome in the other It's just that kind of luck kind of it So some some I think it's time frames really like when the Sun is up in one area It's better in one area and then when it's down in the other it's down in the other well, well I don't really know how it works, but if you know where I'm coming from like some fish don't really spawn at night so we were fishing them at night and then that could have affected it as well so you never know what really could go on so guys i hope you did enjoy this video i know it was kind of a random one and a lot of people know where the kind of best the best way of hunt like getting mythic fish and all of that so guys i hope you did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you are new thanks ever so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out